The Red vs. Sony A7 III. Who wins in this gigantic camera? Excuse me, sir. Is that an A7 III? Well, it looks like I just got a job. Today, I was assisting director of photography on a professional commercial shoot featuring the red AK helium sensor camera. That's right, A7 III, bye-bye. Hello, red. That's my baby. That's my new one. Right, just got back from the shoot. That's right, I still have my kidneys and liver intact. I was actually worried. Some random guy just approached me and said, is that an A7 III camera? Would you like to be my assistant? Because my assistant pulled out today and I need one. I'll pay you even. So we were shooting this commercial shoot in this acreage real estate property. We had a family. We were trying to get all that nice bouquet effects. I was manning the reflector beam <laughs> and handling a little bit of the reds. Just touching a feel, you know, getting an impression of it. But what I have from you, for you guys, is a professional's opinion on why the A7 III is better than the RED and why also the RED is better than the A7 III. So I hope you enjoy the knowledge that's been dropped by this professional director of photography. And make sure you check out his channel below. It's awesome, he's a really slick dude, he's very passionate about his craft, and I'm about to walk into some leaves. <laughs> Hello, it's Sundays. I came here for a holiday, ended up getting paid. Woo! Paid to work, at such a time. All right, I'm here with Mac and Burns executive, Christian, and he's gonna tell me why the Sony a7 III is better than the Red Weapon X 8K Helium. Well, do you know what? I actually love this camera. I love these a7 III's because they're so light. They are so light, they're so nice to use. Um, the red is, it's awesome, like it takes, it's a beautiful picture, but you know, look at, look at the handshake, look at the handshaking here. This is, it's not a light camera, it's not a light camera. And these things are so like, uh, kind of, they're good for guerrilla sort of filmmaking and shooting and stuff like that. You can really, like you can pull this out in an airport and no one's going to be upset. You can make a good travel video and, you know, sort of take it somewhere that maybe you shouldn't be taking cameras professionally um, and no one's going to get upset. Whereas you can't really do that with a, with a bigger rig, it really draws attention. But. Yeah, I love these things, like especially with the, like you got a Canon adapter on these and some, you know, some of the Canon or Sigma Primes or whatever, or even the E-mount Primes, they're just so lovely. And it's like, yeah, it's, they're a great little camera. I just, uh, I just wish that they had a better body, like that they just were a bit more user friendly. They just still feel a little bit small, but they're good. You put a cage on it and it's bloody nice. Happy days. Gotta say, it's really heavy to carry, man. Yeah, it's pretty heavy. <laughs> I'm at the gym. Yeah. One, two, three. <laughs> Go, squeeze it. Yeah, so it's pretty, it is a heavy camera, but it is worth the. All right, my friends, I'm here with the Red Raw Cinema Digital Camera, AK Helium. This, this is a beast, it is the brains of the cameras. And I have the professional Christian from Mac and Burns Creative. And he just told us why the A7 III is better than the Red camera. Is that right? It's kind of better. So I started using this camera just now for literally a nanosecond. Gotta say, it is heavy AF. Like, oh yeah, this will get your guns going. I don't know why he's trusting me with this camera. I can drop it. <laughs> <laughs> you sure you want me to use this camera? <laughs> it's beautiful and customizable. I gotta say, when I'm touching this camera, I feel like I've just had a p <laughs> from surgery. <laughs> <laughs> cut, cut. <laughs> I've got a manual focus lens, and you get that so you can really direct the action. So you drop that down until we're all none of our traffic lights are lit and we're all sort of pretty well exposed. Now that's our image as we are seeing it right now. 
when we press D, that shows us log. So that's the raw view that the camera is actually showing. And that is our focus assist. What a camera, what a beautiful focus. Look at the quality of the image. I gotta say, it looks amazing. The picture looks good. Obviously it's not as big as a full frame camera. Yeah, I'm saying it, I'm saying it out there. You can potentially get a better shot from the A7 III, but this guy can shoot 8K. So the detail, the Christmas, the Christmas, the Christmas, <laughs> the HDR, off the scale with this, and the cost, and obviously you're getting a nice workout. Now, Christian, I gotta ask you, this battery is huge. How long does this uh, camera shoot for? Uh, that one will only last about 40 minutes. So with a bigger run, with a 160 watt hour battery, you might get about two hours maybe. And these uh, cartridges that record 480 gigabytes, how much do they cost? I just bought that one for about $3,000. This is why I'm an amateur, and this is why this guy is a professional. He's willing to spend the bucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Christian. Hey. Let me know, why is the RED better than the A7 III? Um, look, I think with these cameras, uh, I, always, I always wanted a RED, and I really always wanted a RED, I think mostly for the RAW codec. The RAW codec is incredibly robust. It's really, you know, it, it really captures things the way I see them instead of the way my camera previously limited me, I think. Um, I, ordered, I used to shoot a lot of Canon, digital SLR stuff, and I tried a bunch of different cameras, but really, I had a 1DC and that came pretty close, like that was a really beautiful 4K picture, but 4K real time and 4K real time is, you know, just not really what you want to be doing. So being able to sort of shoot high frame rates, but also uh, a super high quality and in RAW, is just sort of the best of both worlds. And when I bought this camera, I really stopped dreaming about the next camera. That was pretty much it. So, I'm unfortunately not at that point anymore because now I want a, uh, now I want the next monstro sensor and that's about a hundred grand. But we'll get there, one step at a time. Helium's good. All right, Christian, it was great being your assistant today at this wonderful shoot. Thank you very much. Is there much. any way that people can see your content online? Yeah, they can. They can check us out on Instagram at Mac and Burn. That's M-A-C-A-N-D-B-E-R-N. Um, or on our website, macandburn.com. All right, check Thanks out the you. links in the description below and check out his amazing footage. This guy. Helium AK. Check out this configuration. That card itself costs three thousand dollars. It's got a handle, a screen, it's got fans, big gigantic battery. Look at that gorgeousness. Look at that, look at that gorgeousness. Yeah.